Hi everyone, welcome to this class. Um, short video, I'm gonna show you where to find all the resources. Um, I'm gonna be your instructor. My name is Pratik Kaur. You can um, call me by my first name, Pratik. I'm from India, it's background right here. That's my hometown. Um, it's a small place called Siliguri. And the mountains you see there, those are the Himalayas. Um, I've been working at HCC for a year. Um, we had to go online last spring, which was strange, but um, I guess it's becoming the norm now. So um, let's see. So briefly go over where to find all the stuff throughout the semester. So I'm gonna share my screen at this point. There's gonna be a slight delay um, and a few seconds you should be able to see one of the screens. All right, so, so the first thing that you are familiar with is Law Lima. Now I've decided not to use Law Lima for this course just because um, I wanted to try Google Classroom and I think the organization there is a little better. So anyways, this is a generic video. So let's say you are in Math 103. Um, you should have gotten an email with an announcement. Um, something like using Google Classroom instead of La Lima. Um, now what you have to do is you go to Google Classroom. And when you go to Google Classroom, you can use this code um, to get into the class, okay? Alternately, you will also receive an invite from me, um, in which case you just click the link and you, go, you can go join the Google class. Now, this is what the Google class is gonna look like. Um, let's say I look at Math 242. So you should be able to see four, um, you won't be able to see grades or people, but there, there is a thing called stream and there's a class work. The stream section here is um, kind of like, um, like a Facebook update sort of thing where you can post messages, you know, let's say that you're having a problem with the homework and you wanna collaborate with someone or ask me questions. You can just share whatever is going on. It's much easier, it's less formal. So for example, here, um, it said that there are some things you can do to make a smooth transition into this class. You can read the syllabus, get access to online homework, make sure you can log in and see the stuff. There's an introductory survey that you can complete. Um, uh, this is different. Um, we'll also be using Flipgrid um, for very short videos that I'll ask you to make to uh, explain concepts that we are covering in this class. And then you can um, look at the syllabus. Um, if you go to classwork here, there's a week zero, which is like a preparation for before the semester begins. And um, under week zero, you should be able to find the syllabus. Now, um, when you go into the syllabus, you can download that. The syllabus is gonna contain, um, it's just kind of slow. Um, maybe let's look at, so the, the syllabus contains um, details about topics that are gonna be covered in each week. Um, and it also has a section where it tells you what is due. So you can spend this week to plan stuff. Um, like here you go. Like week one, this is the topics. That's the section. Um, we're gonna have some online homework and then a quiz due at the end of the week and a reflection video at the end of the week. So if you want, you can print this out and um, you know sort of use it as a checklist um, to make sure you're on track. Now I've kept the format for all the classes I'm teaching the same, which means there's gonna be online homework that's on my math lab or web assigned, depending on what course you are in, of weekly video reflection. So the assignments are gonna show up on Flipgrid and it's gonna ask you to make a two minute video about some topic. There's gonna to be a quiz every week, um, assigned on Friday, due on Sunday. Um, exams, well, the four exams, all of them take home. Um, and the lowest exam grade is gonna be dropped. Worksheet is something that I will be uploading on the Google Classroom. And that's where I want you to do all the, the online homework just checks your final answer. The worksheet is gonna be all the work that you do. You take pictures of it, you change it into a PDF and you email me. And at the end of the class, I have two weeks left for 
um, a project. So it's going to be a presentation, which um, I want it to be individual or at max in groups of two, just because it's hard to collaborate right now because we're all online. Um, but I will be posting um, a file with possible topics or um, referring to something during lectures of something that might interest you. Um, you know, maybe it's patterns in um, plants or patterns in animals or how disease spreads, which is, you know, something that's, that we are really living right now with the coronavirus. So all of those opportunities that are gonna come up, um, there's gonna be a bunch of extra credit things that are gonna come up. They will be announced uh, in the stream for the Google class and uh, uh, let's see. That's pretty much it. So go through the syllabus. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Another important thing to be done this week before August 24 is to get your access to your MyMathLab or WebAssign, whichever one you're using. And um, you should be able to log in. And when you go in, um, you should be able to see a page which kind of looks like uh, my internet is slow right now, but anyways, you just make sure that you can log in. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop sharing at this point. Well, um, yeah, hopefully we have a nice semester together. Um, I'm gonna be available on Zoom from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. every week. Um, I call it the study hall. You get an extra credit for showing up you don't have to stay all four hours. I'm gonna be here for four hours for all the classes that I teach. The idea is if even if there are students from different classes, I might put you in the same room and have some discussion um, just to have some collaborative work going on. And I'll be hopping in between those rooms. Um, so yeah, do show up in the study hall because it's designed to be at the end of the week. So if you have any questions on any material, any problem on homework, um, you just show up, ask your question, get it clarified and leave. It's gonna be first come first serve. So you may have to wait for, um, you know, a couple of questions before you, but it's just gonna be all math. So it might be good to hear what's going on. All right, um, you will have your week one material coming up soon. Okay, bye.